What do you see when you look at the moon? As humans, we have gazed at the moon in wonder and amazement for many generations. It's been an inspiration for many stories and a guide to help us navigate our own world. In this story, we'll learn of a new way that the moon can offer us guidance and wisdom. Hey, welcome back to Weeby Kids again. Today I'm going to tell you a story that's from this book called Animal Tales from Around the World. It's a story from India and it's called The Rabbit in the Moon. In this book it is retold by Naomi Adler and I'm going to tell it again for you here. So like I said, this is a, is a story from India. Now, have you ever looked up at the moon when it's at its fullest? This beautiful, big, bright light shines down on us. The craters in the moon create different shapes. And if you look carefully, one of those shapes that is seen in the moon is a rabbit. But have you ever looked at the moon and wondered how that rabbit managed to get there? Well, this story is going gonna, is gonna to tell you how. So, long time ago, in a big, beautiful forest. A forest that was filled with rich green trees of all types. Its floor was filled with thick grasses that give home to insects. Its trees were filled with fruits and nuts that would give food to all the creatures. In this forest lived a whole variety of creatures. But there were four in particular that are in this story. The rabbit, the otter, the monkey, and the young elephant. Now, these four creatures were great, great friends. They loved each other dearly. But the rabbit, in particular, was loved by his friends, but also by all the other creatures in the wood. You see, there was something very, very special about Rabbit. He acted with such courage and kindness and love towards others. On full moons, he would gather all the creatures together in big open glades and he would tell stories of kindness and love and courage and joy and wonder. But he didn't just tell stories about these things. You see, the special thing about Rabbit is that he also lived in this way too, with great courage and great love and great magic and wonder. And Rabbit noticed that living in this way was having an influence on his friends too. The monkey used to be really mischievous and naughty but he started to be more thoughtful and helpful to the other creatures. Otter used to be greedy with all of his fish, but he started to share his food with others. And the young elephant, who had been really, really secretive about the best springs, began to share his knowledge. You see, the way that Rabbit lived was having an influence on everybody else. Then one evening, Rabbit and Elephant and Otter and Monkey, they were all sat beneath a big mango tree. And Rabbit said to them, I've had an idea. Our forest is filled with all the food and all the water and all the love and all the kindness that we need. Why don't we invite other creatures here so that they can benefit from this love and kindness and our food and water? That way, our goodness can spread around the world. Yeah, the other animals agreed. What a great idea, Rabbit. So they all sat and, and they were really, really excited and they began to plan. They began to plan what they would do to help bring kindness and love to the rest of the world. The otter said, I will go and catch lots and lots and lots of fish and I will feed the hungry. 
And the monkey said, yes, me too. I will collect lots and lots of ripe mangoes and I will share them with those who need them. And the elephant said, yes, and I will find the cleanest springs to share water. But Rabbit just sat looking worried. You see, Rabbit knew that all that he could eat was grass. And the other creatures didn't like grass very much and humans didn't like grass at all. And he'd seen humans outside the forest who were suffering and he wanted to help them. And with great sadness he sat there and he watched the moon pass across the sky thinking what could he give. He thought I have nothing that I can offer to help those who are suffering. And he sat and sat. But just as the moon started to drop out of the sky, he had an idea. An idea that filled him with excitement, but also filled him with terror. He remembered that humans sometimes like to eat meat. Ah, said the rabbit. In order to help the suffering, I will give myself to them to eat. Now the great spirit had heard this. The great spirit had been watching from afar. He'd heard how kind Rabbit was. But this act that Rabbit suggested he would make was beyond any kindness, any love that the great spirit had ever, ever seen. Could it possibly be true? Could a creature be so selfless? The great spirit decided that it would test the rabbit. So the next day the great spirit transformed into a poor starving beggar. And he entered the forest and the four friends were still sat under the tree and they heard something in the distance. Help! Help! I am hungry and lost in the forest! The four friends looked at each other. This was their chance. Their chance to spread their kindness and their love and give their food and water to those who really needed it. So the monkey ran off and he started to gather the ripe mangoes. And the otter dashed to the river to collect fish and the elephant went to the spring to bring water. And the rabbit headed out and met the beggar and said, come in, come to our tree where we shelter. And all the creatures came back and the monkey said, here, I give you mangoes. And the otter said, here, I give you fish. And the elephant said, I give you fresh water. And the rabbit looked at the beggar and said, find some sticks and make a fire. So the beggar started to collect sticks. And before he lit the fire, the rabbit said, once the fire is lit, I will throw myself into the flames and you can eat me. And the beggar got two stones and he made a spark. And the fire lit and with air he fanned it until the fire was roaring with flames. And then the rabbit took a deep breath and leapt forward into the flames. But not a single fur on the rabbit was burned. Not a single piece of the rabbit was scorched and the great spirit reached into the fire and pulled out the rabbit. The great spirit looked at the rabbit and said, your strength and love and courage is greater than anything I have ever seen before. You are a great example to the rest of the world and for that I am going to place you into the moon. So your light and your example can shine down on all. And with that, the great spirit lifted the rabbit up and placed it into the moon. 
And that is why when you look up at the moon today, when it is full and bright, you can see the shape of a rabbit. But when you look up at the moon, see beyond the shape, remember the rabbit's kindness and courage and love and commitment and selflessness. And most of all, remember the rabbit's kindness and let it be an example to all of us as a way to remind us that there is always a chance and always an opportunity to be kind and loving and caring to others. Hope you enjoyed this story from India. I think it's a really beautiful one with a very, very important message. Tell it to your friends, share the video. The more people we can get to hear these stories, the better. Thanks for stopping by at We Be Kids. Bye.